the little engine that could and the snowy blowy Christmas. It was a snowy blowy Christmas Eve way up at the North Pole. Santa ate the last piece of Mrs. Claus's Christmas pie. He licked his fingers and headed outside to hitch up his reindeer. Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. Now, while Santa was hitching, Dasher's nose began to itching. Achoo! went Dasher. Achoo! Achoo! Why, Dasher, said Santa, you seem a bit under the weather. Dasher nodded his head. Yes, and pawed the snow. He was eager to go. So away they all flew to deliver their sleigh full of toys to children everywhere. By the time they were halfway done with their deliveries, Dancer's nose began to itch. By the time they were three quarters done, Prancer's nose began to itch. And by the sa and by the time Santa's sack was empty, every reindeer on Santa's team had a terrible cold. Eight, sn eight sneezing reindeer in all. Santa decided to find a place to spend the night so his reindeer could rest before the long trip back to the North Pole. Down, team, he called to them. Santa and his sleigh landed with a thud in the middle of a train yard. All the engines that lived there gathered around to see. When Santa hopped down from his sleigh to greet them, something fell into the snow at his feet. It was Timmy's toy, a toy he had not yet delivered. Oh dear, thought Santa, it must have fallen out of my sack. How will I ever get to Timmy's house to deliver this now? All of my reindeer are sick. Then Santa looked up at the engines. Ho, ho, ho! He chuckled. What a lucky Santa I am. I know how I'll get to Timmy's. I'll take the train. But which engine would help him? You are shiny and new, Santa said to a little yellow engine. I bet you're fast too. Will you help me take this toy to Timmy on the other side of the mountain? I'm very sorry, Santa, said the little yellow engine. I would like to help, but I have a broken wheel. I can't take you over the mountain to Timmy's house. Santa tried a big, strong engine next. You are big and strong. You would have no trouble at all getting to over the mountain. Will you help me? Will you help? I have a big, important load to deliver, said the big, strong engine. With a huff and a puff of smoke, I can't take you. No, I can't. No, I can't. Santa sat down in the snow and shook his head. How can I ever deliver Timmy's toy now? Christmas Day is almost here. Suddenly, a small voice said, I think I can do it, Santa. The voice came from a little blue engine. I'm not very big, she said, and I'm not very fast, but I think I can get you to Timmy's house before Christmas Day. I think I can. And I'll come along to help, said a jolly clown, who was Little Blue Engine's dearest friend. Ho, 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 laughed Santa, his eyes twinkling. Thank you, Little Blue Engine. Thank you, jolly clown. Together, I think we can do it. I think we can. So Santa gave his reindeer plenty of tissues and some blankets to keep them warm. I'll be back for you soon, he called to them. Then he climbed aboard a little blue engine, and with her headlights lighting up the dark, stormy night, they set off toward the mountain. Puff, puff, chug, chug, 
I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, down the track. How the wind blew, how the snow flew. More than once, the little blue engine almost got stuck. But the snow couldn't stop her. Her headlights shone brightly as she puffed and chugged along. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. All the way up, up, up to the top of the mountain. And all the way down the other side. At last they reached Timmy's house. You did it, little blue engine, Santa said. Then he looked up at Timmy's chimney. And that's when Santa realized he hadn't thought of one very important thing. The little blue engine could carry him over the mountain, but she could not carry him up to the rooftop. I will have to climb up myself, said Santa. I think I can do it. I think I can. So up he went, and the jolly clown went right after him, giving Santa a little boost every now and then. Finally, Santa made it to the rooftop. But when he tried to get down Timmy's chimney, he just couldn't do it. He didn't fit. It's Mrs. Claus's Christmas pie, groaned Santa. It was so good that I ate too much. Don't worry, Santa, said the jolly clown. I can do cartwheels and somersaults. I can do handstands and jumping jacks. I think I can tumble down the chimney and deliver Timmy's toy. I think you can. I think you can, cheered the little blue engine, puffing her smokestack. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. I think you can too, jolly clown, and I guess I don't mind if you make the delivery for me just this once. So the jolly clown took T Timmy's toy from Santa, leaped up to the chimney, and tumbled down. Kerplop! As soon as Timmy's toy was delivered, they headed back over the mountain again for Santa. He was eager to see if his reindeer were feeling any better. We did it, Santa kept saying to the little blue engine and the jolly clown. I thought we, we could. I thought we could. By the time the sun rose on Christmas morning, the reindeer's Colds were much better. Santa was back at the North Pole, and the little blue engine and the jolly clown were back at the train yard, and Timmy was just waking up to find his present under the tree. This is the best Christmas ever, said Timmy when he saw what was in the box, and he never knew that the little blue engine had helped to make it that way.